Welcome and thank you so much for stopping by fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It's your host Galadon and yes, it is one of my favorite types of episodes. Today, we answer your questions and comments and yes, we are getting into update questions, update information perhaps, and uh, more update speculations in just a moment. But remember, the earliest and most accurate update information is always here, so make sure you are subscribed and just as importantly, turn on those notifications. I promise to give you all of the breaking clash news and break it down to you easily, correctly, concisely, and creatively. Okay, uh, let's get into the comments today. You guys, man, oh, they're all over the place. But first things first, the important stuff about those new Supercell games, their creator code will be active when the games go global, like Everdale or Clash Quest or any of the others. So yes, of course, it is going to be important to help out your local creator. And my favorite creator code is Galadon. But of course, you just, it's, it's, I would rather have you use somebody's creator code than nobody's creator code. And please pass it on to your clan members. So many of them don't know that that exists. Okay, now these questions today are all over the place. I do have some salty comments, some salty replies and reactions, and I'm just trying for the most part to be kind and answer all that I can. But remember you guys, you can always stop by the live streams to see and ask questions. You'd be surprised how quiet the live streams are. I've preferred to stream on Facebook because I just feel like the community is better there. We can actually have a conversation. And yes, to answer your question, I live stream on Facebook gaming this URL every day except for Saturday. I start at about six o'clock West Coast time. It is 9 p.m. in Indiana and 9.30 a.m. in India, specifically in New Delhi. So I know it's weird time zones for some people, but if you get a chance, please do stop by. We do have a lot of fun over there. Okay, so just one comment here that I'm gonna put up about the update because so many people are asking about update hints, sneak peeks, predicting when they are going to start to the point that the Clash of Clans Twitter page finally replied and said that the update is different. Okay, now obviously that's kind of something that many of us content creators have been calling and Darian has mentioned in the past. So you guys know that yes, it's coming. It's going to be massive. It's going to be very unusual and think more along the lines of something that is going to be for more players not just new levels but something that is going to perhaps bring back the fire to clash of clans that many fear is fading and you can take that to be whatever you think i'm trying to talk about but just just know that i can't give out early info it's never going to happen well, okay, it could happen once, but it would be the last time, and then you wouldn't see Galadon anymore. So let's let's avoid that and just be ready when it does happen. Now, the thumbnail for the Archer Queen, <laughs> I I don't I don't even remember where we got this thumbnail. I think like one of my artists made it for me a couple of years ago, and yes, it is a bit provocative, but uh, people like it, so we throw it in videos every now and then. I hope you guys enjoyed the video about the former Clash YouTubers, and I know that there's a lot that I could cover right here. The most important thing is Landfill. I believe that was the guy's name. I don't know how you knew, but yes, I believe the Landfill was the name of the guy who was the Boom Beach YouTuber. I cannot find any of his videos anywhere, uh, but he was a Boom Beach YouTuber way back in like 2013, and I know. Okay, so there's lots of people that I excluded from that video about old Clash of Clans YouTubers. But let's just remember, I was only covering those that went on that first trip with me back in 2013. There were obviously old time, even older Clash of Clans YouTubers that have faded away like Flammy and Noteworthy Games. There's many other amazing YouTubers that have come since like Powerbang and Klaus, but they weren't there in that original trip. So I tried to just keep it down to that group. But yeah, man, if I were to try to expand and talk about all of the other amazing content creators, even say from pre 2020, it would take a long time to cover even a fraction of them. So I don't think I'm going to try, but make sure that you get out there and you know, every now and then you could search on YouTube, Clash of Clans 2015, and you'll see a lot of those older videos. And man, it does bring back the memories. That is for sure. And yes, of course, there is one specific person that many of you were asking about, and that was Peter17 said, apparently, 
a lot of his videos confuse people. Anyway, this, of course, was the most viewed video on my channel for many, many, many years. Peter wins the game. I'll try to link it up here as well. We're going to talk about that video again in an upcoming video because people wanted to know exactly what happened and the history behind the first player to win Clash of Clans. Now, it's also true that I commentated about the first 12 Clash of Clans events that were ever held. And there was a point up until about 2018 that I had commentated every single Clash of Clans event. I'll just tell you guys that while it was fun, it was too much traveling, too much work. I had other stuff going on. I decided that I was just not going to do it anymore. And it was fun at the time, but I think it's something that's just going to have to be in the past. Those of you that say these nice comments about my commentating, thank you guys very, very much. I do truly appreciate it. Now, other popular comments that are popping up all over the place were about the April 1st video, No Clash Clash. Now, um... I have to admit to you guys that this was, of course, an April Fool's joke. It was supposed to be funny, and it apparently left a lot of people confused. So, um, I don't know. There was so much positive feedback about it that I, I will go ahead and make another episode about No Clash Clash. But an entire series? Come on, you guys, be serious. It's seriously like the dumbest idea ever, but fine. If you want, I'll at least make one more episode, and then we'll see. Now, we have had some really good ideas on the channel in the comments how about a new donation system that doesn't rely on other players i have heard that some players complain about the inability to receive troops if you're not in the most active of clans how about extra points extra rewards of some sort if you pass the 2600 points on the season pass i think that you know if it were something small that would be cool and how about a five crazy facts you didn't know about galvadon video i I guess I could probably come up with something like that. And seventh builder, no, that was just a rumor. Just let's squash that one once and for all, there is not going to be a seventh builder anytime soon, if, if, if ever. And as long as we're in the bad idea category, the only update needed is a gold pass purchase with gems. No, no you guys gotta remember, the gold pass added to Clash of Clans caused Clash to have their best revenue month in the history of the game. So it was a great idea that keeps the game going. And no, you will never see the gold pass for gems, just like you will never see perks added to hero skins. That is three very specific words, pay to win. And we're definitely not going to see that because that would really, really break Clash of Clans. Also, let's not spread misinformation. If you don't collect your stuff at the end of the season, if it doesn't fit, it will be converted into gems. The only way to stack additional magic items over the storage capacity is to buy the packages in the shop. Okay, final bad idea comment, and I don't mean to sound like the old man, hey, you will never work with that crypto blockchain stuff I like an old fashioned way instead. I'm just saying, I don't know, what what is it about this whole crypto blockchain, Web3, token gaming, NFT garbage? I know that a lot of other content creators have been touting it and talking about it and doing sponsorships. And I just, I'm not really a fan right now. I don't know if I'll always feel that way, but for now, can we just stick to playing games and not add all that other stuff in? Okay, please, thank you. Uh, okay, Rahul is from the future. So there you go. If you wanted some predictions for the future, you could definitely check those out. Or, you know, hey, you could watch all of my videos because apparently at some point you can come back and see that I predicted everything correctly in all of my videos where I talk about something that could be coming to a future update. And speaking of things that frustrate me, come on, Sus Meats, you screwed it up. It would have been perfect right here. You could have said third, then Gaming with Tarnish says fourth, and Karuti says fifth, and we're all happy, but no, no. It seems like somebody always screws up the whole firsties thing, and this time, it was you. Other stark predictions for the future of Clash of Clans? Yes, it's true. Clash of Clans will die the day Galadon stops uploading, according to... Uh, this comment right here. And you know, it sounds pretty good to me. Also, remember, I did say I was going to stop playing the day that No Cash Clash is fully maxed out. So we have to watch those two things and see if either or both come true and perhaps at the same time. Man, is this video getting long or what? Ah, what the heck? Let's go on a few more. I wanted to say thank you guys that just leave kind comments. I know, you know, some say for the algorithm. It's even cooler when you leave a comment that's just a compliment, a sincere 
expression of your feeling about watching the video. I appreciate those even more than the for the algorithm comments. Not that I don't appreciate those too. Next up, coming to Clash of Clans, the Platinum Pass, only $99.99 a month. No, no, get this off the screen. That is, that is terrible. Let's read this one instead. Galadon, my question to you is, if you play Brawl Stars, you know that you could buy Season Pass Gems. Oh, wait, okay, next comment. This kid has it all figured out. Millions of us have played Clash of Clans day and night, and this is what we get in return. A delay in the update, blah, blah, blah. blah. There's got to be a good comment here somewhere. Hey, Galadon, I still love all your videos and always wait to see what gets said at the end of the video. I think I'm going to be in trouble. I spent 40 pounds, still week, uh, last week, I guess he means, on the Clash of Clans, so maybe a divorce coming soon. Hey, but he did use code Galadon, uh, so there you go. That That is what is important. I didn't want to put this comment in the video, but then I saw that it had 69 likes and I realized that there is absolutely no choice. And then Peter noticed that it had 17 replies and now we're all scared. Oh, and by the way, yes, the unicorn does have two different sounds. Gosh darn it, get in the comments and agree with me, people. I know it has two different sounds. I'm sure of it, I'm positive. I, I listened to it again and it does. And finally, thank you guys just for leaving comments in general. I really appreciate it. It gives me something to do, yes, all these years later, I am still reading them. I try to get to every single one. I will try to include yours in a future video. I appreciate all of you guys hanging out with me, sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. True hashtag Galafam. Now get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I will see you all back here again tomorrow, hopefully, for more full attacks. Galidon! 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 Galidon!